Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the axis labels and ticks of a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So if we want to draw a ggplot2 plot, we need to install and load the ggplot2 package first. And that is what we can do here in lines two and three of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it here with line three of the code. And uh, then we can draw a basic scatter plot with the ggplot2 package, as you can see here in lines five and six of the code. So in the um, example of this tutorial, I'm going to use the iris data set, which is already stored in the base installation of R. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the bottom right of our R studio, a new scatter plot appears of the columns sepal width and sepal length. Now you can also see that this scatter plot contains axis labels and axis ticks. So if we want to remove these axis labels and axis ticks, we can simply use the theme function, as you can see here in lines 9 to 13 of the code. And here in each line um, from line 10 onwards, you can see that I'm removing one element step by step. So here in line 10 of the code, I'm removing the axis text of the x axis. In line 11, the axis ticks of the x axis and in line 12 and 13 the same for the y-axis. So if we run all of these lines together, you can see that at the bottom right a new scatter plot appears, but this time the scatter plot does not have any axis labels or axis ticks. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the ggplot2 package, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have published many tutorials on the ggplot2 package, also including one tutorial on the content of this tutorial. I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of this video so you could check it out there. And if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications about future releases of new videos at the channel. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.